When people talk about the sun, they say it is the biggest, the hottest, and the most powerful thing that we can see and feel. How big is it? The sun is 865,000 miles in diameter. More than 100 Earths could stretch in a line from one side of the sun's face to the other. Compared to other stars, however, the sun is only average in size and brightness. It looks much bigger and brighter than other stars because it is so much closer to us. Thousands of years ago, early civilizations knew the importance of the sun and the energy it produces. They worshipped the sun as a god. These sun worshippers, however, didn't understand how the sun produces its energy. How does it make all that heat and light? The center of the sun is very hot, like a furnace. A nuclear furnace. The sun has spots. Yes, dark areas on the sun's surface as large as the Earth. The number of sunspots changes. Sometimes there are more, sometimes less. Sunspots usually appear in groups and move around on the face of the sun as it spins. The outer part of the sun's atmosphere is called the corona. The corona is a collection of loops of magnetic fields. It's easier to see the corona during a solar eclipse. An eclipse happens when the moon moves between the sun and the earth. Then the corona stands out from the edge of the darkened sun. Some scientists believe that the amount of energy coming from the sun has changed over the ages. They think that a long time ago, this energy became trapped by our atmosphere, and caused changes in the climate of the Earth. At times in the Earth's history, ice covered large parts of our planet. It must have been very cold. Yes, it was. The last ice age ended about eleven thousand years ago. Today, scientists wonder if there will be another ice age.